Hi guys and welcome to your weekly podcast. As you know, the signs that support the most with subscribing, liking, sharing, and viewing are the first ones to get it. So without a lot of further ado, let's start. Hi Aqua Fellows, you won a solid silver. So let's see what is in your extended Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly uh, Terrascope again uh, two days before because this week you are like second in terms of subscri subscription, likings, viewings and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, it is really greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. So this week you're getting uh, extended forecast and you're getting a little bit more versus the regular five cards. So let's dig in. It's going to be an interesting week because you have five of earth reversed see that proverbial kitty that kind of like is left out in the cold and looking in now everything is upside down so basically it says you know you should not feel pity for yourself it's kind of time to move on and the other card is like ten of earth which again like i mean you uh are right now looks like experiencing some earthly processes it could be like you know financial issues could be that you are dealing to see what you have to prevent and what you have to work on and it could be that this is basically the focus of whatever the week is but you have a second focus you have hermit reversed so it looks like maybe that you got tired of wandering because that's a major arcana and that's aside from emperor second major arcana in the reading so 2 out of 12 means it's not going to be too turbulent of the week and the focus is going to be on a couple of messages. So it looks like you were cocooning for a while, trying to figure out because that was the theme of Aquarians for quite a while. And now you're saying, you know what, I, I am not, this is not my nature. We Aquarians are sociable and even though we kind of like more operate on a group level where you know like we have lots of people around like rather than one on one level we've been spending lots of time alone lately and trying to figure out what and where and what works and even try to violate ourselves trying to go in situations that we know are not good for us and then when our body reacted when we got angry we realized you know that we have to we have to be true to ourselves and this week uh, basically we're exploring uh, seeking so we're a little bit intrigued with those big emotions that we see, especially now after Valentine's and after birthday period. And it's kind of like always intriguing for us. We always dream of this big love and somehow never comes to us because we are not designed for this big romantic, uh, you know, poetry and that kind of stuff that looks good in a movie for five minutes. But oh my God, if somebody does it to us, we would scratch our head. The love we need is more pragmatic, the love we need is more loyalty, and the love we need is like intellect. But this week, we sort of like still want to get a little bit of flavor. Or this could be just watching Oscars movies. Also, uh, I just finished Aries, who actually won number one, uh, right before you, and there is overlap. They also got Sea King, they got Earth Queen, they got the Emperor, they got Four of Earth, um, so quite a few overlap here. I'm wondering if Aqua and Aries are going to have interesting week. So let's go to the base. Base is five of C. So we still have that sorrow. It's still kind of like inside of us. And maybe this is why this king ch just popped up because we are tired of being sad. We sort of like really, really trusted someone and this is what happened. We kind of like dip in our like paws in it, fell in, and we ended up being embarrassed. And it's not really that we so much blame other people. We don't have a fury anywhere over here, but we blame ourselves and we feel embarrassed probably about our own kind of situation. So we have to deal with the sadness and we have to kind of, you know, overcome. And I think this is why we are looking for this, you know, seeking. What we have learned and what we are bringing for us and what maybe we have watched in the past is like Earth Queen, the pampering. So again, is that, you know, comfort. This could be also the financial situation where we felt really comfortable and secure. And sometimes financial situation also affects our life. Somehow this is in the past and now combining with the other two pentacles that I see here with the need of 
stability and kind of creating what works what doesn't work kind of like looks like this is in our mind as well because we understand actually you know how we actually enjoy being pampered then the lesson for the month is still fire this is kind of like opposite well it's not opposite really of hermit but it will be next stage not on such a high level hermit is like a major arcana it's like a big message it's sort of like you're almost forced to be secluded and think about things not just like to lie down and play games at home but think about it so two of fire now we see the kitty sort of choosing there is like i mean warmth and well-lit home security and here is the unknown and adventure their choices and they're really really tough choices so which one to pick and love the key is like right in between the two worlds so the lesson for us is that we are basically right on a on a threshold of deciding which way to go and we are really being cautious we're being cautious because of emotion but we know one thing for sure that there was enough patience so here is like seven of earth which we see the kitty that was really really waiting and patient and waiting for the thing that we thought we rightfully should get this way oh well what the heck I'm not waiting anymore I'm so tired I'm fed up that's just like a hermit I'm just like I'm in lower level so where are we right now what do we feel guess what we do feel emperor and we had this queen so it's sort of like the financial security and responsibilities are really important to us we are finally in control yay Aquarius we are in control so let me repeat it one more time we are in control I can show you what I mean so yeah remember that this is what we are feeling this week because our feelings are all kind of like 10 of C we are going to love ourselves Ten of sea is the end and the beginning so now we have the king of sea now we had five of sea well these are the big ranges of emotions we are going from the top of the heap to somewhere like a in the gutter falling in the water feeling embarrassed to again kind of like knowing who we are so we are kind of like getting and expanding our personality so let me reveal to you also why the cards came as luring the virtue cards the first one was very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and the second one oops, was you deserve love you're lovable that's also the same thing that aries got so this shows you deserve love and you're feeling this way and you're feeling powerful and you feel you're getting it and how you're going to get it you are getting involved in the share activities this is like an four of earth so this will be the parties and you know this is the kitty right now holding and basically his toys as you can see it in the in the back since it's reversed, just like Aries got it, lesson is go and play with the toys. Aries got the same lesson. Go uh, lesson. Go and ask Aries if they are willing to share their toys, and you will share yours, and let's play together. So this also means that it could be some kind of party and surprise organized for you, and something that you didn't know about. It. Well, now you do know about it, so it's just like I mean, pretend that you didn't. Lastly, it is the uh, card of warning. So sort of like somebody can be sneaky that's another seven and this was a seven also sevens are in balance I'm not crazy about seeing sevens yet they're not unlucky they're just the warning messages so here we see somebody taking something away from you while you're just being like you know, I'm mean, distracted with the other things so this basically can say that somebody was not truthful to you and you know somebody that again goes back to this five of um, five of uh, pentacles sort of like you felt sorry about yourself so maybe this can also mean that uh, the closure was not there entirely and um, so what I will do I'm going to clarify that that's kind of a puzzling card everything else seems to be clear that Aquarius is toying with finally finally forcing yourself not to be sad you still might be sad for a while uh, but almost like you're dealing with that forcing yourself to kind of like not to feel this way funny enough um, seven of sky this is the only kind of like sword card it's the only card that kind of like is the comfort of Aquarius even though this card is discomfort so that's why I want to see what this is all about so Aquarius 7, 22nd 28 what is this seven of 
Okay. So I pulled out Messenger, Servant, and Frivolty. So you're going to get a message of something that doesn't serve you anymore. And you're going to get upset. So just pretty much isn't this the same thing? <laughs> you're getting a message, somebody's taking something away from you, and you feel it's frivolous because you were just looking away for a second and just got distracted. Come on, Tara, this doesn't really explain to me. Uh, not too much. Can we get some explanation again on what is the message? Come on, give me a few more cards, please. Okay. Uh huh. Again, this is a card of a thief. And you again got a thief inversed. You got a friend and you got a gift. So, messages about something, and then again a thief. So this is dealing with your own issues, dealing with feeling that somebody took something away from you. Um, however, even though that happened, you're going to feel the favor has been done to you and it was a gift to you. Sometimes bad things happen to us that in retrospect are actually good things because we would still be bound to the person if we would still be bound to the situation if somebody didn't shake us up. So I think this is what it's saying. That something will happen to you that you're not going to like and that's going to come through some kind of message or can come through people you know, friend or some kind of service. And it's certainly it's confirmation of something that you'll feel really wronged about. But it's going to turn out to be a gift in the end. Okay, so let me get some runes so we kind of like uh, get some clarification that way. All well. right, so let's see what are the runes saying. The first card to clarify is your deserve love card. And we guys got Pehu, which is the rune of prosperity and beginnings. And I guess here we are, we are hoping that whatever we had is like finally finished and we are going to kind of remember the past with, with, with good ways. But you're not going to allow kind of like melancholy to get in their way anymore because we want to leave this depression and feeling sorry about ourselves behind us. So let's focus on the earth things and the good things. And Fehu is indicating uh, a time when money is easy to come by. So this you deserve love. Uh, it could be through some kind of like events that you actually have to pay to kind of like attend to because this also indicates material comfort. But also this can also indicate taking care of the basics because it was the Earth Queen here, then we had Earth here, then we had Earth here, and we had two Earth signs so and, and the Emperor. So base of what we need is right now is to establish our stability. So this is basically guaranteeing that our basically financial anxiety is going to kind of disappear and that our fortunes will improve rapidly and we'll begin uh, to feel more secure, etc. If you already are secure and you don't have this kind of problems like the most of us, then uh, this also means that you're going to increase your wealth. And it also, this means that we have to do that with some sense of humility. And this is sort of like a, um, a card of humility and kind of indication. Now, Lagoos, the rune of water, that I clarified is two of fire and that sort of decision or indecision that currently appears to be. This actually means uh, that we need to enjoy uh, harmony, affection, and safety in the arms of loved ones. So are those loved ones inside or the outside? Because this is basically saying, just like this card, that we sometimes feel isolated and left on the sidelines, and just like being an observer of events rather than actively participating. And like Kermit uh, reverse, this is basically saying the same thing. This, however, is a good omen because it indicates patience, even though you're not going to, well, that's the lesson, and it looks like we are really impatient as it shows over here. So this also says that 
we don't have to do anything special to change our circumstances and that they're going to kind of work like the way they're supposed to and weird the rune that has no face is the destiny rune and in the biggest puzzle that was to me in this reading now I know why it was like not easy to describe it because this is our destiny this week we have to figure out that sometimes things have to work out for us to kind of get it so you never know what's going to happen maybe this whole clarification maybe all this kind of sorrow that you feel is going to come to surface and we are going to get it but sometimes we need to get it because you know the melancholy and healing is so much easier if kind of like it clicks maybe that's going to be our aha moment so let's hope for it hopefully you enjoy your weeklies and hopefully you're going to continue being one of those medal winners in the future so please like thank you uh, again support me by subscribing liking viewing sharing and until then i love you